Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As we discussed in the previous class, that is uh, determination of oxidation state. So in the previous class, we discussed about the rules to determine the oxidation state of the particular element in the given compound. So today we can determine the oxidation states in the compound, given compound, right? So here we are uh, uh, discussing about only exceptional cases. This video is only for exclusively for exceptional cases. So before going to that, I want to check whether you studied all the rules or not. So I will give you one example that is KMNO4. Here you have to determine the oxidation state of MN. Are you able to do this? Yes, you can try here. The rule states that any alkali metals have oxidation state plus one. We are determining oxidation state of Mn. That's why I will put as X. And how many oxygens we have? Four. And each oxygen has minus two. That is equals to zero. Because this is the neutral compound. That's why that is equals to zero. One plus X minus eight is equals to zero. X is equals to plus seven. Yes, you got. Arriba, you cracked it. Next. Calculate for second compound that is copper sulfate. So in this copper sulfate you have to determine the oxidation state of copper. Put as X and this sulfate group have minus 2. So minus 2 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus 2 you got for uh, aluminium chloride. Yes, Al Cl3 aluminium chloride. How do you calculate for this? Aluminium is X. And we have 3 chloride. Each fluoride has minus 1 that is equals to 0. X minus 3 is equals to 0. X is equals to plus 3. So the oxidation state of aluminium in this compound will be plus 3. Yes. So we are familiar with the determination of oxidation state. So let's move with the exceptional case. Right. So first I will give you one example for that you have to calculate the oxidation state. Right? So here I will write the acid caros acid. What is this caros acid? Have you heard about this? No worry. I will write here the formula H2 yes not O4, it is O5. H2SO4 is sulfuric acid. So, caros acid is nothing but H2SO5. So, in this compound, you have to determine the oxidation state of sulfur. Right? Are you ready? Yes. Take your time and calculate the oxidation state. So, as we discussed, hydrogen having a plus 1. So, it, uh, it is two hydrogen we have plus we are determining the oxidation state of sulfur that's why i will put it as x and we have five oxygen minus two that is equals to zero two into one two plus x minus how much you will get plus eight so oxidation state of sulfur in caros acid is plus eight it is absolutely wrong. When you go with the manual calculation or conventional calculation, you will get the wrong answer. So for that, this is our exceptional case. So for determination of oxidation state, first you have to write the oxid, uh, write the structure of the given acid. So this caros acid has a structure like this. I will write here sulfur binded with the oxygen. Here it is binded with the oxygen, one more oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen. Here this is oxygen, hydrogen. So as you can see here, 2H, S1 and oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 oxygen. So this is the structure of Carrozz acid. So here you can see this sulfur, the central atom that is sulfur is attached with the different, not it is attached with the oxygen four oxygen groups. As you can see here, this uh, oxygen, this one oxygen is uh, bonded with the sulfur by using two links. That's why this will get plus minus two charge. So when sulfur giving two uh, electrons to the oxygen, it will get a plus two, right? Here also it is bonded with two bonds. It will get a minus two and this sulfur will get a plus two. Then 
what about this? These two oxygens are binded with a single bond. So, here sulfur donating one electron. That's why it is minus one, plus one and minus one, plus one. So, there is no charge formed between these two oxygen because in the previous class we discussed that this oxygen-oxygen bond is nothing but it is a <coughs> peroxide bond, right? Peroxide bond as well as when the bond formed between similar atoms, there will be no charge formation because there is no difference in their electron negativity. As you can see here, this oxygen and sulfur. Oxygen is the more electronegative than the sulfur. That's why electron can withdraw the electron from the sulfur, right? So, this oxygen can withdraw the electron from this sulfur. That's why it will get a minus 1 charge and it will get plus 1 charge. So, add these values plus 2, plus 1, 3, plus 3, sorry, plus 2, 5, plus 1, 6. So, the oxidation state of this sulfur will be plus 6, right? So, hope you are getting this thing. Yes, because this sulfur is binded with the oxygen with a single bond and a double bond. When it bonded with a double bond, it uh, oxygen will get minus 2 and it will get plus 2 charge. Right? So, let us discuss with another acid for another example. Here I will write the second example will be of Marshall's acid. Marshall's acid. What is this Marshall's acid? I will write the formula here. It is H2S2OH. Right? As you can see here, Carlos acid having formula H2SO5 and this Marshall's acid having formula H2S2O8. So for this also, you have to calculate the oxidation state by drawing the structure of this formula. So, I will draw the structure here. How many sulfur we have? Two sulfur, one sulfur that is binded with oxygen, oxygen, sulfur, right? So, total we have eight oxygens, three, four, five oxygen, six and seven, one hydrogen here, hydrogen, right? So, can you tell the answer? What is the oxidation state of both the sulfurs in the given compound? Yes. Take your time. Try to determine the oxidation state of sulfur. Yes. You got. Your answer is absolutely right. Right. You can see here this oxygen is bonded with two bonds. That side will get minus two. It will get plus two. This is minus two plus two minus 1 plus 1 and this oxygen bonded with 1 bond minus 1 plus 1. So, total plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is nothing but plus 6 and this sulfur also has same structure that's why this sulfur also have plus 6 oxidation state and keep remember this bond will not form any charge because the bond formed in the similar atom there will be no charge formation only the charge formation is due to why difference in the electronegativity. If there will be difference in the electronegativity of the atom, then only there will be a formation of charge. So, here as you can see, oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogen. That's why it will be plus 1. Right? So, like this you have to determine. So, I will give you one more example. You have to calculate the oxidation state of chromium. Oxidation state of chromium in chromium pentoxide. Right, I will write the structure CrO5. This is the formula CrO5. In this, you have to determine the oxidation state of chromium. Yes. Can you do this? Try. If you go with the manual calculation or conventional calculation, you will get chromium, we have to put it as a X plus 5 oxygen, HQ minus 2 is equal to 0, X is equal to plus 10. So, you will get X is equal to plus 10. There is no element exist which is having oxidation state of 10. 
Yes, because it is a very higher number. Uh, basically, you can see here this chromium is from the D block element. We know that D block elements have partially filled D orbitals itself. Themselves, they don't have any electrons to fulfill their uh, uh, electronic configuration. Then how can it give you 10 electrons, right? So this is absolutely wrong. So for this, we have to draw the structure. And I will write here. Chromium, 1, 2 oxygen, 3, then 4, 5, right? It is right, chromium pentoxide, is it right? 1 chromium and 5 oxygen. This uh, structure is called butterfly structure. As you can see here, it will look like a butterfly. That's why this chromium pentoxide have this butterfly structure. From by using this structure, you have to determine the oxidation state of chromium. Yes. Can you do it? As you can see, the oxidation state here. This uh, oxygen is bonded with the chromium by using two bonds, minus two, plus two. This oxygen is bonded with the chromium with one bond. This is minus one, plus one. Same here, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one. So add these values, plus two, plus one, plus one, plus one. So you got plus five, right? Sorry, plus six, right? One, two, plus one, three, 4, 5, 6. Totally you got plus 6. The oxidation state of chromium in this chromium pentoxide will be plus 6. And there is no charge formation here because this oxygen and this oxygen is bonded with single bond. Even though they bonded with a single bond, but there will be no difference in their electronegativity. That's why there will be no charge formation. And one thing I have to say here. There is only one element which is having highest oxidation state that is plus 7. The element is manganese from the D block element. So plus 7 is the highest oxidation state in the element, right? So I will give you one more example. You have to try for that. Sorry. Here only I will write for calculate the oxidation state of Fe in Fe3O4. So for this, if you do with the manual calculation, you will get fraction value. Right? You have to determine the oxidation state of Fe in Fe3O4. For that, I will write the structure here. Fe and this is bonded with the oxygen and this one also bonded with the oxygen here Fe another oxygen this is our iron right so I will name the I will give a number for the iron this is our first iron this is our second iron and third iron so now what is the what are the oxidation state of Fe1 and Fe3 in this given compound. Just check here. This one, one Fe is bonded with one oxygen. This is minus one. This is plus one. And here minus one, plus one. This is minus one and plus one. So total oxidation state of this one Fe is a plus three, right? And again, same for this Fe2 because the second Fe also bonded with three oxygens that's why it will get a plus three oxidation state what about this third uh, fe it is bonded with only two oxygens that's a minus one plus two this is minus one plus one minus one plus one so total it will be plus two in the examination in the, in the competitive examination you will get the question like this calculate the oxidation state of iron in fe3 O4. So there will be four options. Option A plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 2, respectively. They may ask second FE and third FE. Right? So plus 2, plus 2, D plus 2, 
plus 3. So, what is our right answer? That is option B. Plus 3 and plus 2 are the oxidation state of this iron. As you can see, this Fe3O4 can be written as FeO plus Fe2. O3, right? So Fe2, Fe, Fe3, O4. So in this Fe, it is having plus 2 oxidation state, FeO. In Fe2, O3, it is having the oxidation state of plus 3, right? So hope you are understanding and uh, see the, do the examples like this. And in our next video also, I will come with the different exceptional cases for determination of oxidation state. Hope you like this video. Thank you.